Grandma got run over by a Wrangler. Coming home for Mario's Christmas Eve. Look, this, uh, look, only the car people will really appreciate this. This would be so much more funnier on a Mustang. This right here is two and a half ton wordplay. If anyone's curious, car guys, can you explain it down below, please? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. It's good old garbage day, because we're going back into r slash trashy. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. I just realized this is the 100th trashy video I've made, so you know what? Let's see if we can hit that at least 100 likes. I think we'll be able to do that. I'm pretty certain I'll give you guys a chicken nugget. I'm normal. I'm normal. I'm normal. I am normal. I'm normal. My best qualities, jobless, not in school either, alcohol, like bulimic but identifies as anorexic, a uh, trans anorexic, uh, I, I am fairly certain that is not how that works, uh, hates dogs, how is that a good quality? Mid as F, uh, again, that is not a good thing, according to prettyscale.com, uses Discord, not a fan of peckers especially if it's under a dress, thinks orange YouTube should be illegal, I, yes, yeah, I'm not saying that word, shame, I have Tourette's bud, only for racial slurs, I hot hanging out, DoorDash booze and uh, cigarettes to my house instead. Look, I'll tell you this right now, ain't nothing cute about giving a Tinder bio to a dumpster fire. I feel like you very much need to understand, um, what exactly the word best qualities means. Caption said there was a kid in the back seat. you're parked very much illegally, and I'm going to guess ding ding number two is also parked illegally here, but I'm gonna also take another wild guess that this picture was taken between the flashes of the I can park anywhere lights. I absolutely love that feature. It's almost as if that's not how that works. Pharmacy will be extremely short staffed today. Please be patient and do not yell, curse, or make threats to the pharmacist. Thank you. Ah, yes, another sign that I would be very disappointed to have to put up outside of my work, but I f legitimately feel like I would have to because I swear to God, people get upset at me for the most petty things like, oh, you don't serve this for this animal, but this for this other animal. I, I swear, I'm not even joking on that one. Some pe some lady thought that I was just, well, that we were sexist or something. I don't, uh, retail is super weird. Just because one person suddenly calls out making them short staff does not mean take it out on the rest of the staff. I've had way too many people get upset at me for that exact reason. You know, I don't know why, but for some reason this gave me a flashback to Small Soldiers. You know, that good old movie from our childhood that traumatized the crap out of us. Yeah, at the, from this point on, that don't seem too bad. Because I honestly feel like if I'm behind this vehicle and one of them flies off at me, I I'm gonna wreck my truck. Uh, sir, 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 excuse me, please. That is not what the goat from Hoodwink meant when he was singing about being prepared. Stop touching me, Google. Look, I don't know how close and up personal that search engine's getting, but uh, I, I never expected it to be like this. Um, I excuse me there, I do believe you have your priorities mixed up. Um, I don't know how many pizzas they had left at the Little Seizures, uh, but I'm very certain if you waited at five more minutes, they would have some more. So I do believe you could have gone without doing the poop shoot boogie and actually have gone to the bathroom before getting your pizza. But, uh, you know, uh, what is this? Walmart, Target? I don't know. Those very much seems like the main demographic share brain cells. Only part of this that would be unsurprising is if the person was a door dasher. Because, honestly, I don't really have much hope for any of them. I got some of the dumbest in my area, so I, I hope that other places are better. I'd like to think of them better, but I have people that have trouble using their own app and have me ask for assistance when it comes to how to use the app, so my bar for where you guys sit is not really that high from the get-go. Injured while searching for dead bodies at Lake Mead? Demand compensation. Park injury law firm. Okay, this is like super specific, but this is actually in fact legit. Uh, they got apparently 153 five-star reviews, so dang, this is apparently a really good lawyer. I mean, at least for sure you got my attention with the whole, were you injured trying to find dead bodies? I, I guess you're not wrong if they it, that does get your attention. It is a slogan, so I don't know where to go with this. Are you still a fan of Kanye West music? 64% yes, and 35% no. Yahtzee stuff too much. Garden Gnome doth speak it, but uh, he's not the focal point of this one, actually. Well, look, I'm Jewish, and with all honesty, I feel it is the 
though, the only reason why he is acting like this is because he was basically cancelled. Uh, the mustache dude from 1940 ideology was that Jewish people ran the world, and him getting can- that's not how you even call it spelled cancelled. After what he said about the Jewish people, now he feels as though they really do. I'm just fairly certain at this point Kanye West done lost all of his marbles. Jizzy Jewelry, your, your design, your contribution, your new favorite piece, like hell it is. Look, I feel like Etsy needs to update what gets approved for their website, because uh, I, I don't want to know, well, I feel like we all kind of know, unfortunately, what your contribution means. Newlyweds charge guests ours 333 for eating extra slice of cake after reviewing CCTV footage. A wedding guest claimed that he was caught on CCTV eating an extra slice of cake, and the bride and groom asked him to pay £3.66. R333. ASAP. Look, I'll tell you this right now. You let people know ahead of time you're going to be this cheap on money, you can absolutely guarantee that a lot of less people are going to be showing up for you. Like, really, just straight up, let them have cake. Oh, yes, but don't tell them what we're going to charge them money for it. God dang it, don't you just hate it when people pick multiple spaces? I don't even care if you're at the back of a lot. Hey, I just a douchey thing to do. Look, how about come to an agreement? You learn to park properly, and then I'll give you your wheels back. Until then, they're mine. What the actual heck have I just found? in my seven-year-old YouTube history on his television. What do I even do about this? Well, I know two things you certainly don't do is you don't give me a laptop and you don't tell him about incognito mode. Yeah, for some reason, I am just not surprised by the majority of this list, because, uh, yeah, no, that about checks out. And I know for a fact this is fairly recent, because Fortnite is in so many places. Thousand Pound Sister, Amy Slatton, to be expecting baby number three, to be named Slenderman Halterman. I don't want to be mean, but I just have this weird feeling in the back of my head. Slender is in the name is going to be the only thing slender about that baby. Also, I didn't even know that you could have kids after you gained enough weight. I thought it had like some health implications where you just straight up could not get pregnant. My man is not going anywhere. I love you so much, baby. I'm glad you're not getting charged and not going to jail. Yep, you know, a love so strong that not even the government penitentiary could keep you guys apart. Cool tattoos, though. Say perhaps to substances. Ah, which one is it that you guys are telling people? that they need to live is it the legal ones or the illegal ones trick question both driver attempts to destroy a giant snowman not realizing it's built on a large tree trunk you know what it took me all of two seconds to realize that the person that built the snowman isn't the trashy person the person that drove onto somebody else's property to try to vandalize it yeah now that's perfectly trashy and i'll tell you this right now the people that put the tree trunk in the snowman that was not their first time putting up a snowman that was their first time putting up a snowman that didn't get knocked down 10 minutes later because this very much feels like something i would do if i was dealing with an a-hole in my neighborhood. You want to play that game? Congratulations, you just pissed me off and I can play that game too. Except the thing is, I play the game better. I kind of want to see this guy trying to file the police report with a complaint and everything. Yeah, no, I was just trying to uh, knock over this one dude's snowman that I've been knocking over repeatedly, uh, but this time he hit me with a tree trunk. Oh yeah, that's right, the one that's rooted into the ground and don't move. What do you mean I'm at fault? Trespassing on somebody else's property and vandalism? That's outrageous. Uh, Julius suck me off here 2005 uh look i more so prefer the classic gary is here ash is a loser but i mean whatever floats your boat my dude if for a one second you think you're wrong you're taking away my rights uh come try i listen to what i want i say what i want i watch what i want don't like it i don't give a f your feelings don't affect my rights and if you you think they do you really are that freaking stupid i'm an a-hole and i approve of this message f yo baby it's cold outside and i'm bringing them the bacon and after dinner we are watching rudolph f your feelings that offend you slap your parents you cry baby mfs fight me and i'll bear the song while i beat your eye then make you watch rudolph on repeat what is it with this dude and rudolph don't you just love it when the 90 plus percent of somebody's posts on facebook are am i pissing you off now how about now how about now 
now, and so on. Once again, our communication center has been receiving a number of calls from citizens using it as a platform to complain about being awoken by the Amber Alert reminder. Emergency number is for emergencies only. Please help us keep our phone lines free for real emergencies. Thank you. I could have sworn I've never had an Amber Alert pop up later than like 8.30 p.m. I've always just found that kind of weird, but also just don't, please do not use emergency lines to talk about or complain about things. Like, oh, the only thing you should be complaining about is if somebody is breaking into your house with a knife. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.